Well, as President Donald Trump's impeachment trial heads to the Senate, there are damning new revelations about the influence campaign in Ukraine. Now, they come from Lev Parnas, who is the focus of a trove of documents released this week from the House impeachment investigation. The CBC senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe, has more on all of this from our Washington Bureau. Lindsay, Parnas speaking out now, mm -hmm. and pretty interesting stuff. Walk us through what he's saying. Well, these allegations are coming, as you mentioned, in documents and then also in cable television interviews. And essentially what Parnas is saying is that Donald Trump was in the know when it came to Parnas's efforts to get the Ukrainian government, the president of Ukraine, to announce investigations into the Democrats, into Joe Biden and, and his son and his son's work in Ukraine. What Parnas has said is that this wasn't about large-scale corruption. Instead, this really was about the Bidens. Here's what he said about Donald Trump. Uh, President Trump knew exactly what was going on. Uh, he was aware of all my movements. Uh, he, I wouldn't do anything without the consent of Rudy Giuliani or the president. I have no intent, I have no reason to speak to any of these officials. Parnas is also throwing those in Trump's inner circle under the bus when it comes to this. He says John Bolton was right in it, as was Attorney General William Barr, something that the Justice Department has pushed back on and said it isn't true. We've seen similar pushback from Vice President Mike Pence. And there is no question that Lev Parnas has a credibility problem. He is speaking while he's under indictment for campaign finance violations. But the big picture of what these allegations and what these documents do is add fuel to the Democrats fire as we get into this Senate impeachment trial when they say that it is a time to bring forward those witnesses those that might have direct knowledge it's also exposed the Democrats to criticism of why uh, they chose not to fight out for some of that testimony in court but rather moved ahead to a Senate impeachment trial Okay, there's a new development in this story. This comes out of the revelations about the pressure campaign that Parnas helped orchestrate in Ukraine. What more can you tell us about that, Lindsay? Okay, this goes back to Marie Yovanovitch. Remember, she testified in front of the House. She's a former ambassador to Ukraine. And in these text messages from Parnas, there was an exchange with a Republican, someone who's running for office. And those exchanges insinuated that Marie Yovanovitch, while she was ambassador, before she was ousted was under surveillance and they could be interpreted as a threat. So what's happened today is the government of Ukraine, not the Americans, but the government of Ukraine has said that it will investigate based on those text messages released from Parnas. I'll let you uh, go through the statement of what Ukraine said. It says, our goal is to investigate whether there were any violations of Ukrainian and international laws. Then there must be an appropriate response. Or maybe it was just bravado and fake conversation between two U.S. citizens. In accordance with international legal mechanisms, the Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine suggested that the U.S. should take part in such an investigation. Ukraine expects the United States of America to respond to the appeal and looks forward to their cooperation. Now, that line, maybe it was just bravado and fake conversation between two U.S. citizens. While Lev Parnas, who is on that text thread, has been questioned by uh, these various journalists, he has said he did not take uh, an idea of a threat against the ambassador seriously. He accused the person he was text messaging back and forth with of, of being a drunk. But the thing to note here is that what we have is the Ukrainians calling for an investigation into the situation and not the Americans. And there has been much criticism of how the State Department, particularly Mike Pompeo, behaved in relation to uh, the, this diplomat as, uh, as she was being under fire and uh, facing that kind of criticism, that potentially kind of threat in Ukraine. Never a dull moment. Thanks for this, Lindsay. CBC's Lindsay Duncombe in our Washington Bureau.